We've also visited wilderness areas, uh, BLM areas uh, around both parks. We have had extensive briefings from the park personnel and biologists and others as to the impacts on the national parks of climate change. All you have to do is look around and see the trees that are dying because of the pine beetle. All you have to do is be briefed about uh, the lack of participation and the drought conditions which have affected the habitat and the wildlife and uh, the very structure of the parts of both our national parks and our national parks across this country. Pine beetles, is there anything more that you know that you folks can do to help mitigate that, to minimize it? Uh... We're learning that Mother Nature bats last. We just want to keep the game going. Uh, and there are some things that we can do. We can thin fuels around communities and watersheds. Uh, in certain cases, you can treat uh, individual trees that have a crucial value to you as a homeowner, to a ski area operator. Uh, we can ensure that the safety of the, the visitors to the national parks uh, is ensured by, by thinning and trimming, sometimes having to close temporarily campgrounds and hiking trails. Uh, wherever you sit, stand, or sleep is what the Forest Service and the Park Service are using as their standards. Uh, but I think in the larger sense, the way we respond is by putting a climate plan in place that begins to draw down carbon emissions and then enhances our national security and creates jobs and builds a 21st uh, century economy. As we all know, this is a huge challenge for us uh, here in Colorado, and many communities are responding in, in, in their own particular ways. But uh, Mother Nature has the upper hand here now. We ought to listen to her uh, in an overall approach uh, to limit carbon emissions so that uh, we get a handle on this challenge. I believe that climate change is real. I think that every visit we make, such as we are making here, argues that we take action of greenhouse gases on the world in general and our national parks in particular. Renewable fuels, 15% uh, can come from wind, about 5% from solar. You've got to make up with natural gas, clean coal and all that, but nuclear power has to be part of that. And frankly, I'll be very straightforward, I will not be part of any agreement unless nuclear power is a key and vital element. There's a great uh, set of statistics now that suggest we can really lean on natural gas as a bridge fuel, both for electricity generation in the baseload setting and also for transportation fuels for targeted kinds of uses. Big trucks, John, and fleets uh, can use natural gas. Uh, that's a real opportunity we ought to seize. Uh, I think we need a national renewable electricity standard. We have one here in Colorado. It's worked very, very well for us. And then finally, I agree with Senator McCain that the nuclear power has to be a significant part of the mix. There are some that would say, well, Senator, that's a change of view on your part. Uh, it, may, it may be, uh, but as I've uh, listened, learned, and studied, it's clear that if we want to respond to uh, the threat of climate change, nuclear is a part of the uh, solution, is it not, John? And so it therefore has to be a part of the policies that are forthcoming from the Congress and the President.